need a ride? Hello, my friend. Welcome back. You might have wondered what happened to my $700 van. Because I haven't posted about it in a while. Well, I was waiting on the transmission rebuild to get done and a couple other things. And that thing is now it's a four x four van, which means I have a shifter that I can put into two wheel drive, four wheel high and four wheel low. I got a lot of hate when I first posted about this van about how this is just a big piece of junk. Well, I'm sorry to tell you that this is the cheapest four x four van I could build. Let's do some more trail riding. I'll let you check it out and I'll tell you more about the conversion soon. I've been out here testing out this 4x4 and it looks like there's a cave up there. I'm going to see if I can drive up there and check it out. You see it? It's hiding up there in the corner. Let's go. And just like always, it got darker a lot faster than I anticipated. It's a perfect time to crawl inside and have a nice hot cup of soup. And then tomorrow I'll have to explore the cave in the morning. Good morning. So I'm excited because so far this four x four conversion has worked just as I anticipated. If you haven't seen my previous video on my $700 van, make sure you check it out. This is, or was, an all-wheel drive Astro van. And I did some research ahead of time because I found this van and I was like, this is a really good deal. All-wheel drive system is not very reliable though, especially if you wanna do any types of off-roading. The four x four conversion is supposedly one of the easiest conversions and it's affordable. It's basically all plug and play. So I was like, hey, why not? Let's do it. A nice, Sprinter van would be awesome for a 4x4 van, but it's also a really expensive option. Honestly, it's just really going to be a fun mobile. Perfect for camping, off-roading, donuts, burnouts. I don't have to worry about it. I actually originally bought this because I wanted to take it to the Gambler 500, which if you haven't looked into it, you should look into it. It's really cool. It's like this under the radar off-road camping race for junkers, basically. You try to pick up a vehicle for around $500 and you just send it into the mountains, hope that you make it to the end. There's people that will pull you out and rescue you. It's, it's crazy. But I didn't end up getting this thing all the way there. The transmission wasn't working. So I was like, well, it's just going to have to wait this year. And my best next best alternative was turning it into a manual 4x4 machine. I'll tell you more all about the conversion and the kit that I use. But first, I want to tell you about the coffee that I'm drinking today. This is my Dr. Straight Instant Mushroom Coffee that I make and it is on my website, drstraight.com, if you haven't checked it out. It's instant coffee with seven mushrooms, whoopsies, I just spilled some, including chaga and lion's mane. No, it does not taste like mushrooms, it tastes like a nice hot cup of coffee, and it's instant, so it's perfect for camping and adventures like this. Maybe you're not into instant mushroom coffee, I also have regular coffee that I switch off and use as well. It helps support this channel, and it tastes delicious, so make sure you check it out at drstraight.com. So let's get into the details on the conversion in the front of the van. So I'm gonna crawl up there and show you the shifter and how I use it. This is the shifter I bought from Journeys Off-Road for their 4x4 conversion. It's a pretty straightforward conversion process. They have full detailed instructions on Journeys Off-Road, which is awesome. Basically, just drill a hole through the bottom of the van and the shifter goes right next to the driver's seat. And the shifter right now is fully forward. It's in too high. If you pull back one, 
straight up and down, that's four high. And then if you pull back one more, that's four low. The second thing you're gonna need is a transfer case from a used four x four Chevy S10. I had to look around for this for a little while. I actually ended up finding one at a junkyard for around $69. Before you go and buy a transfer case, make sure that the spline count matches for the input and output for your Chevy S10 and the Chevy Astro Van because they did vary from year to year and that's really important. And again, if you're unsure on the spline count that you need for the Chevy S10, that's when I found the documentation on Journeys Off-Road really helpful. And lastly, you'll need the wiring that comes with the 4x4 shifter, and this basically tricks the van and allows you to use the shifter. Okay, I think that sums it up inside. I'll let you check out the transmission down below, and then let's try to check out these capes. The last and most important part of this 4x4 conversion is the 4x4 sticker. It makes you go faster. 4x4, all-wheel drive. Definitely going to confuse the chain control people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It doesn't make you go faster. If anything, it probably decreases my fuel economy, but that's okay. She's perfect now. This is the transfer case that I got off the used 4x4 Chevy S10. And above it, you can see the bottom of the shifter that connects to the transfer case so that I can manually shift the van. If you get the correct spline count on the transfer case, it's a direct swap. Here is the stock transfer case that I got help removing from the old transmission. Next step was to remove the transmission that needed rebuilt. If there's nothing wrong with your transmission though, you don't need to remove it in order to do this 4x4 conversion. Now that the transmission and old transfer case are removed, it's time for the rebuild. It was interesting to watch and learn more about the step-by-step -step process required to rebuild a transmission. Have you ever rebuilt a transmission? Maybe you have more than once. One day, it would be really cool to be able to rebuild my own transmission. Maybe with a little bit more practice. This was one of the parts that had gone bad in the transmission, the sun gear shell. As you can see in the old part, the teeth are completely worn down. He showed me a used one in comparison and you can see the teeth are much more prominent. Basically, mine was completely fried. The transmission was rebuilt with an upgraded torque converter and other heavy duty parts, and so far it's operating as expected. The transmission rebuild was about $1,600 and the Chevy S10 transfer case was $69. The Journey Off-Road shift kit was $274. Lastly, I had to replace the windshield because it was cracked in multiple places, and that was $200. If you add all these parts up, plus a $700 van, this comes out to around $2,843 for a 4x4 van. Not bad for a fully rebuilt transmission that should last for a long time. Welcome inside the cave. I sound like Yogi Bear. <laughs> this cave's pretty cool. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was, but it's like perfectly hidden away on a mountainside. It's great if you're a bandit. It might also be a nice little spot to camp in, but the ground is really rocky, so it may not be very comfortable to sleep in. The view is spot on though. Let me turn the camera around so you can see it. Fingers crossed that the engine lasts a while because there's some miles on this van. But all in all, it's a fun van to take on small adventures like this, and it's an affordable option for a 4x4 vehicle.